Welcome back. Long before the fall of the Soviet Union, God spoke to this man about the return of Russian Jews to Israel. CBN correspondent Julie Stahl spoke with Steve Lytle recently about the vision he had decades ago to help the Jewish people return to the Promised Land and how that's being fulfilled. Steve Lytle, welcome to Jerusalem Dateline. Thank you. It's good to be here. What is Ebenezer Operation Exodus? Ebenezer Operation Exodus is a Christian ministry to help Jewish people from the whole world come home here to Israel. And it was founded 25 years ago in a prayer conference here in Jerusalem in the month of January and of 1991 and still is continuing on today. What inspired you to start Operation Exodus? Where did the idea come from? It began with a vision God by His grace allowed me to see in 1974. I was wide awake and the whole wall became like a giant screen and I saw the downfall and the destruction of the Soviet Union and all the Jewish people are there came out, got on ships and airplanes and went ho came home here to Israel. And uh, he said, I want you to go to the Jewish communities in the Soviet Union, prepare them, I'm going to give them an exodus as like I did in Egypt at the time of Moses and Pharaoh, and you go and prepare the Jewish people. And then I began to find Isaiah 43, Jeremiah 16, Jeremiah 23, Jeremiah 31, and on and on and on into Ezekiel, and out of a country of the north, God would bring uh, his ancient people back home to Israel. And I said, okay, Lord. And then in 1982, here in Jerusalem, uh, I was walking down King George Street, living here with my family, and uh, somebody starts calling, uh, uh, saying, Steve! And it was a man by the name of Gustav Schiller. And so we began what was called Operation Exodus. Fast forward. You're celebrating 25 years, basically, of this Operation Exodus and Ebenezer Operation Exodus. What's it like here now? Uh, now, we're 25 years later. We have people from 40 nations here that are involved with this ministry around the world. Where it's going to go from here? It's going to continue to grow and grow because we still have millions of Jewish people to help to come home from different parts of the world. There's been a 34% increase this year from last year of Jews from the United States of America that we've been able to help to come to Israel. And then in South America, Central America, Mexico, Brazil, Argentina, Paraguay, Colombia, we want to be able to be that to respond to whatever is needed. If God puts in their heart, go home. If it's persecution that's pushing them, or because Jeremiah 16 also talks about the hunters, and they will hunt them. And so if they're fleeing from them, that we want to be able to help. My prayer has been, Put it within the heart of the Jewish people to come to something. I remember on the boat that I was on, they had horses on the boat. <laughs> we, they, people brought their pets. They brought all sorts of things. Right. Um, how have things changed for, for immigrants coming to Israel? Uh, we operated the ship for 15 years. And uh, by God's grace, over 150,000 we've been able to help to come. Is there a special call or a special command for Christians to help the Jewish people come home? Isaiah chapter 49 verse 22 is very clear. It is the duty of the Gentiles to bring the Jewish people home, to carry the sons and the daughters of the Jewish people upon their shoulders, to bring them back here to Israel. This is uh, a function of what the Apostle Paul said out of uh, the book of Romans chapter 15 when he said, look, if you have participated in the spiritual blessing of the Jewish people, now it is your duty to give back to them to help them materially, financially. Great. Steve Lytle, thank you so much for joining us today on Jerusalem Dayline. Thank you, Julie. Good to be here.